Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be telling you the best fruits for almost everything in the game. The categories that I'll be going over today will be farming, bosses, fruit PvP, sword PvP, gun PvP, trial PvP, fun, and overall best fruit. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into it. For the first category, farming, the best fruit would have to be Awakened Buddha Fruit. It has such a great big hitbox, which when paired with a fast clicking long range sword like Cursed Jewel Katanas and stats in sword make it amazing for farming. Buddha also has an almost 50% damage reduction when transformed, so you can tank a lot more hits as well as giving more hits at the same time. For bosses, it will also have to be Awakened Buddha with its big hitboxes. Buddha is really just the best fruit for any type of farming in this game. Now for fruit PvP, I will have to go with Awakened Doe. It is by far one of, if not the best fruit in the game for PvP at this point in time. It has so many combo extenders, lots of damage, stuns, and range, which makes it great for PvP. Now the next category, Sword PvP. There is no actual best fruit, but I will have to say either Awakened Doe for the previously mentioned reasons, or something like Rumble for tons of stuns and movement, because the more movement, the easier it is to catch up to someone or to run away from them. For gun PvP, again, Doe is a great choice, but I would rather pick something like Awakened Dark or Awakened Rumble with their stuns and mobility teleports. Even Paul, which I am using right now, would do very well with something like a Sidium Rifle, because Paul has the great torture stun and instant teleportation. Now the next category is Trial PvP. The best picks for Trial PvP would have to be either Dragon, Blizzard, or sadly Buddha again. Dragon in the transform state gives some damage reduction while also giving more bigger area of effect for the moves. Especially with the third move, Fire Shower. It can hit basically all over the arena here. Blizzard's fourth move, Blizzard Domain, makes a giant area where it damages everything inside of it. And if you use it in the center of the trial arena, right about here, it can hit the entire arena and everything inside of it, which is really OP to get like 4K free damage at least on everyone. And lastly, Buddha is just here for the big hitbox and the survivability with a 50% damage reduction. But if you do use Buddha, be aware that you will be targeted first because of how much health and damage you can put out really fast. Now for fun, I would highly recommend using Venom Fruit. It has poisons, which makes it so that the enemies cannot use Observation Haki, basically at all. And large area of effect moves, which are great for groups of people and even pretty good for farming. Venom is my personal favourite fruit ever since it came out because of how versatile it is. Starting me on my bounty hunting journey and getting me to 6 million bounty at the time. Now I'm at 23.3 million. And also the second move just has basically auto aim on it. So that's amazing for everything. Now for the last category, the overall best fruit. I'd have to go with a fruit which has fulfilled the most categories in this list. And that fruit would sadly be Awakened Buddha. Now you may be asking, why sadly? Buddha's great. The reason I say sadly is that even though it is best for farming and really good for PvP, it is a pain to play against and makes the game really annoying since everyone uses it. And it also requires no skill whatsoever when you all you do is click your mouse button while following plates around to kill them. But if you want to be annoying, Awakened Buddha is the way to go. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.